In this video, I am going to show you how you can install AutoGen on Windows. AutoGen is a tool from Microsoft to create autonomous AI agents. So let's get started. First, you would need few of the prerequisites. The first prerequisite you need for your Windows system is Python. Go to this website and then from there click on this download Python button and then Click on that XZ and next next and that should install the latest version of Python on your system. I'll drop the link to all of these websites in video's description too. Second thing you need to do is to go to this website and from here you need to download and install Miniconda. For Miniconda simply uh, right click on this Miniconda 3 Windows 64 bit here and then download it on your local laptop in Windows and then Click on that .exe file and then next, next, next. Accept all the default values and it will install Miniconda on your system. I already have installed these things. So let's get right into it. So I'm launching my Conda. In order to launch this Miniconda or Conda, you would need to go to your start menu and then select the Miniconda from there and you'll be presented with a screen like this. Now, the first thing you need to do is to create the conda environment now before i create the conda environment one thing we need to do is to set the environment variable with open ai's api key so for that you would need to go to platform.openai.com get your api key from there and then set it locally as an environment variable in order to set it in conda the command which you are, which you need to use is something like this in the conda environment so i'm not going to put all the api key but you can just obtain your api key from openai's website just google openai and it should give you where you can find the openai's key and then set it with this command and don't worry about these commands i will also put the link to these commands in video description i already have set this uh, environment variable with my openai api key so that's good. Now let's create our Conda environment. Now Conda enables us to create an environment such as this, where we are creating Conda create dash n. The name of environment is AutoGen and we are using Python 3.11. So what happens here is that it creates a virtual separate environment where all the packages are. Just type Y here and it is going to install it on our local system. Let's wait for it to finish. That's already done. Now let's activate AutoGen. Now look at this here. It is showing us the base. Now if you activate the new environment, which is this Conda activate AutoGen, then this base will change into AutoGen and it shows that now we're in the AutoGen environment. And now let's install AutoGen on Windows. So the commands to do that is simply this pip install autogen studio. Press enter and that is going to install the autogen studio on your local system. Let's wait for it to finish. Doesn't take too long. It's fairly quick. And that is already installed. Now in order to start it simply type this autogen studio space ui dash dashboard 8081 press enter and it is going to start this AutoGen Studio on your local Windows system. So all you need to do is to open your browser and go to this URL 127.001 colon 8081. And let me highlight it. This is what I'm talking about. So open your browser of choice on your local Windows system and go to this URL or link. And once you go to your browser, you'll be presented with this AutoGen Studio screen, which is quite uh, intuitive and easy to use. Now in this screen, there are three sections. One is build, playground and gallery. In gal gallery, we don't have anything because we haven't built anything. In the playground, um, we can play around with the stuff we build. The build section is where all the magic happens. Now in the build section on the left hand side, there are three things we can do. We can define skills. Skills are simply Python programs as what needs to be done. For example, if you want to have a skill of generating images, then you can simply write a Python function like this, generate images in the middle. It is simple Python program, which is 
generating images and it could be any arbitrary python code similarly this skill is to find paper from archive you can just go and write this program and you can do it for anything for example if you want to generate music if you want to have a skill of going through pdf whatever python code you are thinking of or whatever skill you want to have then you can create a python code and simply click on this new skill on the right hand side then give it up uh, something like find job skill something like that and write your code here anything could be here and then click ok and okay so i haven't provided the so i'll just say find job skill and then maybe i'll just say print hello i am job skill and then click ok so you can see that it is simply find job skill and you can write any python function to do anything and sky is the limit here so this these are the skills then we have agents in the top left in the agents one you are provided initially with two agents one is user proxy and the other one is primary assistant this comes by default so you can user proxy is what you talk with and then primary assistant it with actually does the task there workflow is the orchestration where you can build um, whatever application you want to build that okay one agent is doing this the other agent is doing that and then uh, so on and so forth for example um, if you click on this travel agent one you can see that this is the name of the flow description and then if you see it's a the receiver is group chat manager and user proxy will remain the same if you click click on group chat manager this is basically the agent you can have as many agents here like language assistant local assistant and you can keep adding them so i'll just cancel it i'll click on new workflow and then from here you can simply specify what your receiver is and what your sender is and you can keep adding them and i'll do another video where i'll go into more detail as how to build the full-blown application for this one i'm just going to show you as how to install it and get started with it now in the playground um, we already have built something and normally we use a general agent for flow so go to the playground now on the left hand side click on new just select maybe general agent workflow click on create and then you can talk with it uh, you can just say uh, stock price and i'm just asking it to plot a chart of nvidia and tesla 2023 and now it is going to uh, create the code for it in order to accomplish this task and it is going to do it with chat gpt4 because that is what we have set the keys in for the open ai if you want to use any other local model you can do that too and i will have another video where i can show you that so it is still working it will take a bit of a time now if you want to see what exactly it is doing in the back end you can also go in and then check at the back end what is happening uh, on your terminal too but i'm not going to uh, you know go into that detail at the moment because that will take a bit of a time but anyway so this is how you get this autogen studio installed on your local system and play around with it i hope that you enjoyed it if you are stuck anywhere or if it is not working let me know and i'll be happy to help out and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network or on the social media thanks a lot